Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back out here at Tenor Rock. I have my friend Juan with me back here. So um, we're gonna try to get on some fish. We're out in the middle of nowhere today. So um, this should be a really, really fun day. It's gonna be beautiful bluebird skies. So hopefully we can figure something out. Um, I've never been on this lake before. It's very tight quarters. It's gonna be like that true primitive Florida feel that uh, I just love about Tenor Rock. So I'm gonna come out here, see if we can figure out some fish. I appreciate you watching the video. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna see if we can make our way back here. Try to square bill out for a little bit. Water is currently 59.8 degrees. We're getting close to 60 degrees, 62 or 60.2. Make sure we don't get lost, Juan. Just keep mixing it up until find what they want. Try the old Cinco out for a little bit. Alright, first fish of the day. Skunk is out of the boat. Dragging the bottom with the Cinco. Little guy. I thought I saw him on the graph. Hanging out down low on the bottom. Alright, sweet. Skunk's out of the boat. Hopefully that tells us something. Thank you, buddy. 
All right, we got the first one on the weighted wacky rig. That's a three and 32nd ounce little weighted jig head, weedless. Got the O-rings crossed so the hook can run, run perpendicular to the worm. Found that the hookup ratio is a lot better that way. So we'll see if we can continue putting fish in the boat with this wacky rig. Looks like these little pits just kind of open up from these small canals. It goes pit, little canal, pit. Wearing them out? Huh? Said you wearing them out? Uh, no lucky on me. That's a nicer one. That's a chunk. They seem to be where these little canals are leading to the next pit. That bass is probably only 14 and a half, 15 inches. It's probably close to two pounds. It's a little butter ball. Yeah, about 15 and a quarter. Just for the fun of it, let's just see what she'll go. Looks like this is a female. Maybe on the verge of getting ready to spawn. Hear it out. Yeah, see, the bass is almost two pounds. It's barely over 15 inches. It's really good for out here. Beautiful fish. Another one on the weighted Cinco. Alrighty, appreciate you, buddy. Alright, fish number two on the Cinco. Just dragging bottom right now. I'm gonna go ahead and change out Cinco's here. These Gary Yamamoto 5 inch Cinco's. Plum with emerald flake. If you're just looking for a confidence color in a Cinco, it's year round. This is my go-to color for skipping, dragging bottom, just casting out in the open. Doesn't seem to matter if it's clear water or stained tannic water. It just seems to work. Then you just take that jig head and you grab one, go through, you have to twist it. down a little bit catch that other one come up have to pull through you have to slide that guy back down it's a little more difficult when your hands are cold and there you go you got that hook running perpendicular that weight also helps that worm fall a little more true as well See if we can go catch some more like that. How you doing over there, Juan? Good stuff.
That's a little bit nicer of one. Woo. Okay. That is built like a tank. Look at that. That is like perfectly proportioned. That, and she choked that Senko. I was next cast with that Senko. All right, that is, she is 18 and three quarters. 18 and three quarters, and I bet she goes close to, I don't know, three and a half. Let's see. Wow. That is four pounds, three ounces. Four pounds, three ounces. Try again. Yeah, four pounds, four ounces, so like four and a quarter pounds. Just a beautiful fish. Small little mouth, giant body. 18, three quarters, about four and a quarter pounds. She is getting ready to spawn. Beautiful fish. Thank you, girl. All right, well, I guess we have to continue with this wacky rig after that. That was back-to-back -back cast after all. So it seems like, as of right now, these bass are just laying on the bottom and they haven't moved up quite yet. So I'm just dragging this Cinco around. They definitely seem to be on these transition points between the pits. So currently the water temperature is 63, almost 64 degrees. Air temperature is probably in the mid 50s right now. So, these fish should be like full on spawn mode right now. Those two that I caught definitely have not moved up yet. So, I'm going to try to continue to intercept them on uh, their way up to spawn. So, we'll see if we can continue to do that. up the wacky rig for a little bit see if I can catch any on a moving bait these bass definitely seem to be hanging out deeper so I'm gonna switch out this KVD 1.5 for a Rapala DT6 it's gonna run about a foot deeper so let's tie that guy on Get out there. Let's try this Rapala DT6 out for a little bit. See if we can make him react some.
put this guy up for a little bit, continue with that wacky rig. Things have been qu pretty quiet since I've caught that last one, but again on the wacky rig, it came right out. They are built very, very well out here. They all got those small little mouths, just little butter balls. They all got shoulders on them, they like 11, 12 inches. Alrighty, thank you, buddy. All right, that wacky rig continues to work. So we gotta stick with it. Seems to be what they want. have about 30 minutes or so left. So I'm gonna go back to where I caught the majority of my fish. It's been pretty slow after I ran into several of them, just right in this area. And then I picked up one a little bit farther down the stretch, but they seem to be, at least earlier, grouped up in this area. I don't know why exactly, but this is where they were. So I'm going to hang out here for the last 30 minutes or so see if we can scrape anything together then we'll be getting out of here Took a long time to catch that one. It's a cold fish. Pretty bass. Tell you then that tannic water. One thing I can say about every single fish I caught today, regardless of the size, they they have all been healthy. All right, buddy. Appreciate you. It took forever to run into that fish. All right, last cast. Another good day of fishing. Alrighty, everyone trip is over so today we were able to find them on the bottom mostly i was using that wacky rig and all i was doing all day was 
I was throwing out, I was letting it sink. These banks are cut out and they're very, very steep. And I was throwing that Senko up very close and letting it sink. And I was getting a couple of reaction bites that way. And then the other bass, I was just dragging that wacky rig on the bottom. And again, it's weighted. And so I was able to maintain contact. Every now and then I would bump it. And that's the only way I was able to catch him. I was trying other reaction baits and I just wasn't able to, to connect with anything. So uh, able to put several in the boat today with it, landed that really good one. They were all very healthy uh, out here. The quality of bass out here was really, really high. I do think they're getting ready to spawn here soon. So it's good to see them fat and healthy. I am gonna be uh, starting my new tournament trail for the 2023 season here in uh, about four weeks or so right in the middle of february so stay tuned for that as always i appreciate you watching the video if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button it helps the channel out a great deal i appreciate you watching i'll catch you in the next one